everybody. I am Tom, and you are watching me play Vampire. Um, I've just done some upgrading. I upgraded Blood Spear to level 2, and I upgraded my Hard Biting up to level 6. Um, which used all my experience, pretty much. It's now going to be the next day, and a bunch of stuff is going to happen, I'm sure, because I did a lot in that day. All healed. Interesting. It's now sanitized. Cool. Cheaper stuff, I suppose. Hmm. This didn't actually affect it anywhere near as much as I thought it would. Nithicot has a cold, which I can cure. He's got a migraine, which I can cure. Stayed pretty much the same. Stayed pretty much the same. Alright. So all in all, not a bad... Not a bad set of stuff, really. Alright, so now it's the next day. No, here, here. I guess I'll track this? She was in the... Yeah. She is in the cemetery. I'm going to convince her to go home. Because... Why would you be in the cemetery? Also, where is my actual main quest? It's down in the docks, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to knock off a side quest. Um, it shouldn't take too long to get up to the cemetery. I've found out that I can pretty easily run past all the enemies. Sneak my way past all these guys. Sup? Go home. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Xiaoshun couldn't find the strength to leave her husband's tomb. Interesting. Sure. Have you recent news <laughs> of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I heard that she used to help the refugees. But unfortunately you don't see her around anymore. Interesting. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. Hmm. Sadness can be a terrible trap. It can entangle you and weaken your heart if you let it control your thoughts. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Tell me how your husband died, Xiaoshu. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming. To have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come, or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. Hmm. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, 
We are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. It's very sad. Died of disease. Feels guilty about not spotting her husband's condition. You can't really feel guilty about that. I mean, maybe given the situation, um, of, like, of how sick everyone should be, but... You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. To be honest, I don't know. Please forgive me if I've upset you. We must all honor our departed loved ones in our own way. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I felt I should share it with you. Since she is buried here, too. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. I like the way that that ended. Matthew. The world has gone completely mad. I really enjoyed the way that that ended. The, like, sharing his own pain as a way to... Not necessarily alleviate her own, but realize that she's not alone. There, there are people who are feeling the same kind of pain, albeit separately. I'm now going to head to Whitechapel. <laughs> Whoops. Um, the reason I'm going to head to Whitechapel is let's quick way to do this up. Oh, Left through through run through there yeah okay. Um, the reason I'm going there is because I found a scarf which apparently belongs to. Can I walk through the hole in this wall? Apparently belongs to someone in Whitechapel. Uh, I can't remember her name. It's like Popper, I think. She's a Romanian woman, working as a prostitute. Um, for no other reason than she has to essentially. Yeah, sure, this will do. Easy enough to do. I like my sneaky ability. It doesn't take blood either, which is really good. Just takes stamina. Um, it has something to do with uh, the reporter as well, Elliot. Good evening, Doctor. Can Clayton I help Elliot? You? Is that his name? Clayton Darby. Where did I get Elliot from? 
Uh, personal questions? Nothing. Goodbye, okay. Mr. Darby. Farewell. I'll try talking to you. What's your name again? Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Mr. Reed. Yeah, here we go. Christina Popper. Investigation updated. And nothing particularly interesting. Could this be the scarf you lost, Miss Popper? It is much more than a scarf to me. It is the only thing that connects me to my family and my country. Thank you so much. Interesting, I failed to hint. I guess the hint was probably something something scarf. What do you know about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Two girls I know went to the dispensary yesterday. Nobody has seen them since. I worry about them in case bad things happen. Hmm. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Okay. So, did that complete that? It did. So the only thing I need is this guy, and I can't talk to him yet. Um, because I need to mesmerize him to actually get in there, and I can't mesmerize yet, can I? No, I'm level 2 mesmerized, so I need to be higher than that. Um, so, what's left is to go to the docks, I guess. I will actually cut and be back at the docks. Momentary well, I'll be back at um, the hospital, anyway. Be back in a second. Alright, and we're back at the hospital. Um, I'm gonna just run straight through and head towards the docks. I can't imagine it'll take me a particularly long time to get there. I think this door is unlocked now, which will save me some time. Because I need to get to... Yeah, this bridge. Actually, not that bridge, but going under that bridge will get me there fairly fast, I think. work the way I wanted it to. It's kind of annoying, but we dealt with it. Actually, was there a way for me to like jump? There was a way for me to jump across. Cool. All right, so I'm now in the docks, which is where I want to be. Also, I've yet to properly explore this place, so it's going to be likely lots of exploration going on as we go through here. Granted, I kind of just want to go to the story, because there's a murderer on the loose. A murderer skull on the loose, specifically. Can I go through here? Apparently, yes. Ah, it was locked. Sweet. Seems like a good way to go. Is this where I think it is? Interesting. The answer is no, this isn't where I thought it was. Cover letter. Hello, Frank. How are you, my old friend? It was good to see you last week. Next time, let me get the rounds in. I hope everything is okay on your side of town. 
Here in your old neighborhood, the situation's getting worse. Clay is getting more violent every day. Clayton Cox, probably? Who is the leader of the wet boot, wet, wet boot, wet boot boys gang? That's actually really difficult to say. And is only thinking about expansion. Even when it seems there are some new players around trying to dispute our territory, the wet boot boys are in a bad spot, I'm afraid. So I thought about what you said last time we met, that you never regretted leaving the gang. The only thing that you regret is never being able to put foot in the East End gang in the East End again. To avoid a good beating, or worse. Well rest assured that you've had you'd have my protection if you decide to pass by, and maybe we can talk again about new opportunities and, and job offer. You know I've always been good with numbers, so maybe if you need an accountant in your company, let's talk about that, shall we? Say hello to your wife for me, WBB for life, old chap, wet boot boys for life, Booth Digby. Interesting. He looked like a fairly dapper fellow for uh, a wet boot boys gang member. Interesting though. So someone who wants to get out of the gang and go into legitimate business with his friend who did manage to get out, which is quite cool. But I think this should take me up close to where I started the game. Who are you? Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? So you're a concerned criminal, is that it? Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. Greedy little cockroaches who feed on despair. Hmm. I could kill you for saying that. But, nah. You've been a soldier. I can respect that. Interesting. I wonder if he actually does respect that or he just doesn't want to, uh... Fight so me because he knows I'm like gang, a head and a half what, taller than him. You got a deaf wish. You really want me to answer that? Well, yes. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Oi, I'm the boss, all right. The wet boot boys work Ooh. for me. All of them. Situation round here is better huh. than other districts because of us, because of me. Interesting. So he's taking over from Cox. Interesting. What can you tell me about this part of town? Things ain't that bad, thanks to us. We give people what they need, and we control this borough. Well, you're not doing a very good job. People are still dying here, like everywhere else. Yeah, well, we can't be everywhere all the time. And Edwina says if we can find more guns, we could be more efficient. More efficient? Really? You should probably tell Edwina that guns are useless against diseases and infections. Incredible. You know what? You're lucky she can't hear you right now. She's more smart than patient. My sweet queen of the docks. Interesting. Booth may be in love with Edwina Cox, but she is the true leader of the gang. Hmm. Interesting. Also, Edwina Cox. Yeah, same thing. I know you're looking for an honest job, Booth. You're tired of this criminal life, aren't you? It's just an idea. Edwina loves to run things so much. You can never really leave the gang. We're boys for life, you know? Interesting. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. It's really interesting, like, the way you talk to him. And I have actually met people in real life that are like that, where, like, you first come up to them, they're like, fuck off, cunt. And then after talking from, to him for a while, they realize you're, like, you're not, like, an asshole, and they slowly warm up to you. It's like a, a facade of being a prick at the outside to try and avoid trouble in shitty neighborhoods. It's locked. 
What is the other side? I can actually probably unlock that if I really wanted to, but I won't bother about it right now. But the, the idea is, like, he's, like, a hard-ass, and he needs to put on the persona of being a hard-ass, otherwise people will take advantage of him. Wayne Cox. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As yep. I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I ain't paying any bill left by clay. I'm not here to collect payment, miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? I mean, sure. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Hmm. Gun parts. Makes sense. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? Boo Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs. For once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? <laughs> a woman's not supposed to talk about these things. Hmm. I believe you manipulated Booth Digby to get everything you wanted from him, both inside and outside the bedroom. The poor bastard is good to me, if you must know. He makes me feel good, and that's a first. So you're just like any other couple, after all, are you not? Yeah, we're so ordinary that I'd put a bullet in his head if he ever cheated on me. Interesting. So she actually does love him. Although, she suspects that he's cheating, yeah. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. <laughs> if you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know? You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. I actually kind of am interested, but okay. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us then, if you don't want to get hurt or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. Interesting. Recently killed a man in retaliation. Same thing, I assume, yep. What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the grave diggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. Huh. <laughs> Fair enough. Um... Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. Hmm. There's a simplicity in that. What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard, but he didn't brag for long. So you have no idea what really happened, but you executed him anyway? No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. 
This is our territory, and this is our law. Hmm. And your conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Dr. Reed, when used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that? Yes, Doctor. Just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. Again, there's a simplicity in that. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Hmm. Cool. Goodbye, Miss Cox. <laughs> Interesting. I'm gonna go back and talk to him because I now have a bunch of hints, probably. You again. What do you want? Nothing new there. Tell me about the man you killed, Booth. What happened? One of us had been killed, so we had to retaliate. That's the whole story. There has to be more to it than that. I don't think no, there is. Really, one of us got killed, so the killer had to die. That's how things have always yeah. been done round here. No one gives a shit. Don't you see it's an endless spiral? One day, it will be you who will be stabbed, or shot, or worse. That's what my sweet Edwina always says, that one day I'll get it too. But she says it with the most beautiful smile, my Edwina. Do you know Edwina suspects you to be unfaithful? Edwina's the one who asked to be called Mrs. Cox, even though Clay hadn't touched her for such a long time. You have not answered my question. She's a passionate woman. I've no doubt she'll shoot me down if I ever betray her, but that's not going to happen. I love her as she is. Fair enough. Granted, Goodbye. he had no reason to tell me the truth there. <laughs> so, like... Um... I think I'm actually going to run up and around just to this area and unlock this gate, if I can. Just because I want to get all this stuff open, if possible. Uh, not this way. Because if I can open all the gates, I'd like to. It may mean that I have to run through a bunch of enemies to get there, but... Eh, whatever. I can deal. I still haven't quite figured out how, uh... Popular Fallborough. I still haven't quite figured out... Like, what level enemies are, and whether they're scaling to me, or whether they're specific levels at specific... ...at specific areas or not? Save me some time. Skull. Skull. I do love this weapon. Stop changing who you're locked onto. And heal. The lock-on sucks in this game. I'm just gonna point that out. Yeah. 
Oh, dead. Give me a bunch of stuff for coming back this way. A chest over here. Luckily, I needed a bunch of codeine. Oh, hello. Another skill. Apparently someone's being attacked, I think. I just saw a thing saying, save the man. Wow, he hit me. Is that where they were? Yeah, this guy. Who are you? Are you all right, sir? What are you doing in a place like this? I'm not sure that's any of your business. I hope you realize that staying here will put your life at great risk. Bah! I'm not afraid of these guards of Prewen, or whatever these thugs call themselves. I can still kick some respect into those youngsters. I wasn't specifically referring to them, but are you really after these men? Why? They took my boy! I've had no news since he joined that crazy gang. So I decided to come and find him myself, to get some answers. I see. But as I said, your life is at risk if you stay here. And I'm not referring to the gangs either. You should leave, sir. Well, this part of town used to be nicer, let's say. Perhaps you're right. This isn't the best way to save Andrew. Interesting. I can help. I can try to, at Are least. Are you anyway. sure you'll be able to reach the docks alone? Young man, I am perfectly capable of defending myself. Are you sure, young man? All right. Cool. May as well check this house while I'm here. Was this a hideout for the guard of Prewin, maybe? Um, also, we're going to be ending very, very soon. I'm going to head back to the docks and then... That'll probably be it. Bloody letter. Dear mother, whatever happens to me, always remember that your son loves you. I know you did not always approve of the way I chose to live my life, but I won't change. I was born and raised in this part of town, and I just can't stand what is happening to my neighborhood. To people we know. I recently made a terrible decision. I decided to strike back against the tyranny of a few. I know that they will retaliate, but I'm ready for whatever comes. Thanks to you, I've always loved to read. Now that I'm about to take action, I can only quote Etienne de la Boite. Boite? They only seem tall because you're on our, cause we're on our knees. I won't kneel anymore, mother. I intend to stay straight, whatever the cost. Goodbye, my beloved mother, Jack. There is a name engraved under the blood on the back of the case. Jack Gillingham. Maybe I should return this watch to his family. Hmm. This is the guy who was killed by the wet boys. The wet boot boys, I assume. That would make sense. He's talking about fighting back, so he's killed one of them. Seemingly unintentionally, I didn't, it didn't seem like he was the kind of guy who would murder somebody. Like, maybe he just attacked them and then it went too far and ended up killing them by mistake, but... 
irrespective. He lost his life for it. Which is a shame. Uh, so if I go up to this left, it should take me back to the docks immediately, which would be really, really nice, because we're sitting right on time. Hello? What the hell was that? That was weird. Oh, I think it was my ultimate coming back. Alright, so that's another entrance into the docks. That's nice. I've now unlocked all the shortcuts, I think. I just want to come down here and give a quick look over to see if there's any loot. Scowl off by himself, which is kind of weird, but... I guess. Not that weird. There indeed was some loot back here, which is nice. I can probably upgrade all my weapons at this point as well, which is also worth noting, but... Alright. Let's head back through here, into quote-unquote safe territory. Um, I kind of want to... There's a hideout here, which I kind of want to get to, but... Oh, interesting. Southwalk is here as well. That was a part of the city I didn't even know I could go to. Um, I kind of want to go to the safe house. I now know where I am, by the way. Um, that is where I first started the game, and I came into that place there. There's a safe house up here somewhere, though. No. Up this way. Hide out up here somewhere. Mark my words, miss. These murders are the work of a vampire. A vampire? Whatever do you mean? I'm a tracker of these creatures. A vampire hunter. I really want to end the episode. Be your hunting, then. For if the sewer dog is back, and hunting all these poor folk, he needs a catching. A sewer dog? Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. Daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, night time, claiming innocence. Interesting. Then vanishes. We now have a safe house, which is nice. That's what I wanted. Um, yeah, sure. I think I already have max of that, but I want to come to this workstation because I wanted to see one if I could make some more stuff, which I can. Okay, I have two of all of them. I need a Godamine. For lots of stuff, I need a Godamine. Um, I can make Regeneration Serum, that's nice. Sure, because I can. I don't see myself using Stamina Serums, but I kind of want to build it because I can. Um... Five of that. Alright. Cool. Um, I guess I will deconstruct some stuff. Sure. Sure. Alright, uh, is that enough to build some more stuff? Kind of. Build one more of these, which I will. I have at least one cure for everything, which is nice. But that's going to be it for this episode, so thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Where we're going to go and explore the docks a bit more and talk to everyone we can. Particularly this vampire hunter, because that seems very interesting. Um... But I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to ignore that vampire hunter. I'm going to run up here, search this area, come down, search all of this. Search everything I can in this dock area, and then go back and do the main story quest, but... 
Anyway, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.